Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. I hope everybody's doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. Of course, I must say before I get too far into this, I am not a financial analyst. I'm simply sharing my thoughts and opinions, so please don't take anything I say as advice. Okay. That being said, as we see here, the price of XRP is sitting around 43 cents, 44 cents. And uh, we actually had a pretty decent day today. I think it hit around 45 cents earlier. You know, definitely some movement. The whole market, uh, it, it kind of seems like um, things want to kind of take off, but it's just not that time yet, I guess. Uh, that's, that's the only thing I can say about it. It is just not that time. Now, as we see here, XRP is the only one in green. You know, that could very well mean something. Who knows? Uh, but if we go ahead and move on over to the XRP charts, we see here that the trade volume is sitting at $890 million. And the ledger uh, payment volume, XRP ledger payment volume, is at half a billion dollars. That's pretty darn good. So nothing to complain about there we just want to see these prices reflect the positivity that's in the market towards xrp and we have been getting a lot of good news but guys those fudsters are still out there they definitely want to shake us up and shake everybody up who's in the in the market i mean this during the meetup i really kind of realized how much is actually going on in the background just some things that that I heard and um, the kind of the um, unsurety that some people still have about uh, XRP because it, you know it's really I don't know it's really strange like myself I have no doubt about it now of course I have my I, I've had some bad days where you know I've, I've thought to myself man you know Maybe I should just get out of it for like, I mean, like a split second. And then that goes away because reason takes over. Right. But there are really people out there who are on the fence on a daily basis about hanging on to uh, XRP to their investment. And I, I understand it. I get it. Um, if you I know a lot of people who have not uh, who weren't in the market before or during the uh, bull run of 2017 it it seems kind of unreal i'm sure but as i've said before historical data shows us that there are you know as i said before booms and busts there have been bull runs and there have been bear markets or you know if you want to call it a bear run whatever but it it's a cycle this cycle i believe has been more uh, manipulated than anything I believe I mean I could be totally wrong but that's just my take on it um, and and it's it almost seems like it's being staved off as as long as possible to allow some things to happen now if that you know if it means that for whatever reason reason this this time frame is, is extended just to make it uh, make this bull run bigger you know I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Um, but at the same time, I do want to see some gains. I mean, I got to be honest with you. Um, there is there's some information that I got that was very very positive, uh, thanks to um, one of the um, one of you guys out there. I don't want to necessarily bring up any names, um, but either way, some extremely bullish news that I got info well rather information um, and I don't want to necessarily share that maybe one day I'll, uh, I'll I'll find out if he's okay with me saying it but uh, all in all um, I think if you are on the fence about sh selling your XRP you shouldn't be uh, I'll just put it like that all right so Let's just go ahead and get into some of these uh, articles here. First bank owned crypto exchange brings Bitcoin, uh, XRP, Ethereum and institutional investors with deep pockets. So, yeah. Uh, what was this? This is uh, 
The first bank-owned crypto exchange plans to expand its services from retail traders to institutional investors. Japan-based SBI Holdings initially geared its exchange, VC Trade, towards retail traders, allowing people to deal in four uh, cryptocurrencies, including XRP, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Ether. The exchange is scheduled <laughs> to delist Bitcoin Cash in June. What a jab, man. Dude, that 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 sucks. That sucks because uh, SBI, that's going to be a very, very large launch here. Man. Okay, moving on. This week, however, an SBI VC spokesperson told Cointelegraph that the exchange plans to expand its focus. SBI VC currently offers services only for retail customers after AML, CFT, and custody solutions that we are planning to implement as finalized are finalized we would like to move forward and start providing services to institutional investors prioritizing customer asset protection the sbi group will make use of its synergies between current businesses such as securities and fx to acquire new customers sbi holdings offers a long list of services to its customers from brokerage and investment banking to foreign exchange services the, the Japanese financial giant invested in Ripple in January 2016. In April, Ripple announced that Yo, Yo, uh, Yoshitaka Kitao, <laughs> hopefully I got that right, the representative director, president, and CEO of SBI Holdings had joined the tech company's board of directors. The same month, SBI Holdings reported that it is uh, that its overreaching crypto company known as SBI Virtual Currencies made a profit of almost $360 million Japanese yen worth about $3.2 million for the full fiscal year from April 2018 to March 31st to 2019, according to Cointelegraph Japan. Okay, so yeah, we know that they are slated to launch in July. Um, that's going to be a big launch. Uh, also, the Siam Bank is, is I mean, I'm, uh, I'm going to assume they will be launching next month. But we have a, quite a lot ahead of us here. I think um, those two right there will make a very big difference. And, and then also, guys, we are, you know, I think once Bitcoin, let's go ahead and go back here. I think once Bitcoin crosses, and this is what a lot of people have been saying, crosses that $10,000 mark, I do believe um, it will breathe life back into the market for the most part because I think it'll, I also believe it'll, kick in that FOMO. So we shall see. Hopefully uh, we'll see something big happen in the next, you know, few days to few weeks, um, you know, here very soon. That's what I'm hoping. I know we're all hoping that it's time for some change. All right. So uh, moving on, are Ripple investors prepared for XRP to stay low for years? And I find this kind of funny because it, it seems that, um, there's a there's a steady kind of a spackling of FUD that gets put out there. And, you know, I kind of look at the fact that this this is all psychological, right? Again, as I was speaking about people who are on the fence about whether they should sell or not, this kind of this helps keep them there. Like they're afraid to just, you know, mentally be totally invested and continue to buy and all of that and 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 uh at the same time they don't want to get out of it so it, i think it's it's you know it's very taxing it's very uh stressful you know when you're sitting here um hearing and looking at all of this stuff happen all of these articles coming about coming out about partnerships and all this stuff guys it's just and and then you don't see the price move and not understanding why but you know, people fail to to look at the fact that, yeah, other coins are doing some doing a little bit of something. But to be honest with you, there hasn't been like a full fledged bull run. I mean, there's been some bullish things that have happened, but nothing serious has gone on. All right. Um, the last bull one run millionaires were made in this bull. This these little, you know, bull surges. You know, people have made money. I don't know if any millionaires have been made. I mean, you, you would have to, I think, would have to have quite a lot of money or at least buy into the absolute right project at the actual time 
that you know say it's at its lowest and then it hits that you know that bulls bump in the road or whatever i mean unless you're able to do that i think there were a couple coins that did uh have some you know i think triple triple digit increases as far as percentages but even still that's that's just not i don't believe that's worth um millions of dollars unless you've really invested probably tens of thousands so um either way my point is just this we have not seen a real bull run it is coming could it be uh, uh another you know six months to a year yes anything can happen but personally i don't think it's going to be that long it's just that this stuff has to be put out there guys i'm going to tell you they have to put this out there otherwise they'll have people buying in i mean the the everything is just really all it's it's ready to go like every people are are aware of what's going on even people that are that are not in the market that are not even uh uh, uh you know invested they they kind of see they're kind of seeing the things that are happening and they're hearing it um if they didn't put this fud out there if they you know and there's of course more than this of out there but um if they didn't put it out there i think this i think the this bull run would happen and uh, like i said i i do believe it's being staved off for the time being um who knows who knows though this is the again these are my opinions these are just my thoughts so um i could be completely wrong all right so i just wanted to kind of go through uh old tweets here and uh see what folks have to say let's see xrp boy yep nothing to see here keep it moving won't be used so don't even bother the genie is out of the bottle folks and and he ain't going back in so he obviously is xrp boy so you know who what he's talking about so let's go ahead and go through this this is very interesting definitely credits to xrp boy thank you very much for uh tweeting this out the global x uh the global cross-border payments industry generates 22.5 trillion in annual volume but it's plagued by 1.6 trillion in costs based on the federal reserve's average global cost of international transfers these costs derive from antiquated payment infrastructure and are absorbed by all parties in the transaction chain. After months of private testing, Ripple has launched two new solutions for license, cross-currency settlement and FX market trading, uh, I'm sorry, FX market making, with features and support that help banks meet rising customer and regulatory demand faster, less costly payments, while gaining an, a competitive advantage. So yeah pretty awesome there all right and uh let's go ahead and read this uh, uh um quote we are focused on modernizing payments infrastructure to compress costs for banks and their customers said ripple ceo and co-founder chris larson it's hard to believe but out uh but outmoded payment infrastructure forces banks and their corporate customers to pre-fund foreign accounts for international payments but they're but then provides few assurances that cross-border transactions, sorry, transactions will actually settle. With Ripple's new solutions, banks can now achieve real-time certain settlement at lowest cost, to, lowest total, blah, 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 lowest total cost possible. What is wrong with my tongue today? All right. So, wow. You know, and of course we know this is what uh, this is the main focus of Ripple XRP but guys i'm i'm telling you it is it is like right on the verge of happening we're right there you know all of this that there i just i personally believe there are forces out there that want to push people out that they know how big xrp is i know how it's gonna uh, you know what is how big it's going to be as far as price goes i know how big it's going to be it is inevitable that more people are going to sell out because they get impatient and they they basically just get scared. Don't be one of those people. I'm not going to be one of those people myself. I, I refuse to be because, like I said, 2017, I missed the boat for the most part. And this time, I am not missing a boat. I refuse to miss the boat this time. 
So guys, like I said, just just be patient, stay on with it. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and go through here. Uh, I think yeah, that you know what? That's that's really about it. I don't want to make this video too long. But uh, guys, thank you for joining me. Um, I will be live streaming again here pretty soon. I'm going to definitely try to um, make sure I uh, put some notification out there so you can join me. Again, you know, the, the main problem is by the time I get home, it's it's like six o'clock central time. Well, not even six o'clock. It's like uh, six thirty, six forty five. So, you know, a little bit difficult for me to uh, kind of get all the stuff I need to do get done and go to bed because my wife gets up early. So, you know, I can't <laughs> I can't go to bed too late because I'll get beat up. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to try to live stream here this week and uh, just, you know, we can talk about whatever. Uh, and I'll definitely try to bring some news if I have any anything new that I might want to share. So really, again, that's about it, guys. If you have not done so already, make sure what hit that subscribe button and that like button and also the post notification button. So, you know, I have posted again until next time. This has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.